Yeah, yeah. I mean, Jermaine. Jermaine. <laughs> <laughs> 18, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Big summer now, after last season. Yeah. How you feeling? Good, good. Come back well. Enjoyed it. Um, been working really hard with the squad and that. Obviously back, back in Peter by the flower here. Good week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper nice. It's a really, really nice season. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful. Um, I like in the sun and that. Uh, Bit hard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just hits you straight away, the sun. But obviously, I, could, I guess that will help, you know. Of course. Um, yeah, it's been really good so far. How are the lads? Oh, amazing. Nice bunch of, bunch of, mm -hmm. bunch of players. Good. And you need to really be in the season, I think. So, yeah. let me ask you a question. Last year, you played 19, 20 times over the season. How would you grade yourself in the ten? And how you did? On average, I'd probably say six, seven, okay. I think. Okay. I think most of it for me was handling playing first team football. Mm -hmm. so you know I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, like everything, like build up to it, the fans traveling, mm -hmm. all that, preparing yourself right mentally and physically. Did you embrace it? Yeah, 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 definitely. definitely didn't right. choke? Didn't feel it was too much? Um, once or twice, but you know, I think that came every year. Everyone chokes yeah, at some point. Yeah. Right, it's normal, particularly the seventh day. Yeah, yeah, once or twice, but I think I got through it and it helped. Okay. And this season, I'm trying to use my experience from last. Okay. So I'm to, to play better, more consistently. So, what do you think you need to do better in saying that? As, as you're developing, and now you're an 18 year old, you know, and we spoke the other day about targets and goals and everything else, but yeah. what, do you need, what do you think you need to bring to your game? Let's say you started the first game of the season and you were lucky enough and you played well enough pre season to get in that 11. Yeah. What have you got to do in that team to stay in that team? I think I need to affect play more attacking wise. Okay. I think I'm good at like, winning the ball back and mm -hmm. passing out. Energy. energy. Yeah, yeah, like getting around people. Mm -hmm. But I think I could add some goals and assists to like affect the game more. Yeah, what was the game game? you missed that open goal with a header? Uh, what was that game? Um, Swindon away, I think. Was that what it was? Yeah, was it? I would have called it open goal. I was in open no, goal. No, was it? Yeah, My five year old would have headed that in. You're joking me. But yeah, I just, <laughs> Listen, yeah. <laughs> you're going to have a long career, you ain't going to remember that. You already don't remember it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think that's what I'm trying to add. I'm trying to like, stay in behind changing that. I'm trying to work okay. like, Goals, like, assists, the technical side of things. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's the, I think that will, that will help me a lot throughout um, like, the season and the rest of my career. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, people probably don't know about Perch. You were, you were kind of released from Arsenal a yeah. few years ago and whatever mm -hmm. else. And, uh, you know, at that point, there was a few clubs after you and whatever, and you had to kind of rebuild your career. And I try and tell all the youngsters, don't be too quick sometimes to move on to bigger clubs because it doesn't always work out, you know. In hindsight now, are you happy that happened? Oh, definitely, definitely. Like, when I left Arsenal, um, 16, I was just quite a few clubs. Obviously, I went places, mm -hmm. but I just kept getting knocked back. Like, mm -hmm. and I was rejection, about, rejection, yeah. rejection. And it hits you after a while, you start like, oh, I don't know, it's just the right thing. But Am I going to be a pro? Yeah, exactly. And that's all these things build up in your head, but... Um, so at 18, you feel like it's a second chance? Yeah, definitely. Definitely a second chance. So I'm looking to, to grab people fans, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And you've obviously represented your country. Yeah. yeah How was yeah. that? Oh, great feeling. Great feeling. I've always wanted to do it since I was young, but when you're young, like, oh, it's a dream, do you know what I mean? But when it gets to that stage and you're actually walking out with the England top one, singing the national anthem. Beat it. It's a crazy feeling. That's a few zeros to that, by the way. I'm going to say that as chairman of the club. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. I mean, I said to you the other day, look, you know, good things come in time. Mm. And too many young players nowadays are worried about money and worried about agents and worried about, you know, get, getting that move. And the lovely thing about you is you're not worried about any of that. You just want to get a team and play football. That's what, football. And that's what we want for our youngsters, you know yeah, what I mean? Definitely. And how many of now your fellow youngsters are, are, are now breaking into the team? You've seen Cozzy do it, you've seen Joe, Tom's on the periphery. Yeah, there definitely. are other players coming through. That must give you, as a youngster, coming to a club like Peter, a great cause, knowing there's an opportunity there. Yeah, of course. When I first came, I seen. Um, I remember watching Cozzy, we played um, Red in FA Cup one time, first day I travelled, first time I travelled, sorry, and he was a young guy playing get, like, FA Cup, I was like, wow, he's like... <laughs> he's getting his yeah, chance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, since then I've just been pushing, working hard, working hard, travelling and that, and then I got my chance. And, yeah. Too many people, you know, obviously a lot of young players don't get chances, a lot of foreigners yeah. coming into the England game. Yeah, that's, and that's probably the reason you were bombed out of Arsenal. Yeah, exactly. There's probably a foreign boy in the position you were in. Yeah, exactly. and, and you know, that for me is what's killing the game yeah. and, and what worries, you know. And, and, I look at Dwight Gale, he was bombed out of Arsenal. Yeah. Now he's back in the Premier League, hopefully scoring against them on the opening day of the season. Yeah. You know what I mean? uh, you're, you're an Arsenal fan, aren't yeah, you? So yeah, so hopefully not here. Yeah, right? yeah, so yeah. kind of like, you know, whatever else. But I mean, for you, you know, for the other young players out there, it's so important to have yeah. a positive mental attitude that just because you might get knocked back by a club or whatever else, you've got to keep going. Yeah. You know, that attitude is everything in football. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What would you say your worst trade is as a footballer? I think. 
when sometimes it's not going well for me, like, I, I struggle to, to pick it back up sometimes, but that's obviously what I'm trying to work what on. What did I say the other day in our meetings? Said the highs and lows, yeah. yeah. Don't get too up, don't get too low. Stay in the middle. That's exactly what I said to you and the young guys. Yeah. I mean, and that's like key this season. It's yeah. always going to go your own way. Mm. Is anybody you, know, you want it to, you know what I mean? Of course, yeah. Of course, yeah. I mean, I remember when I was 18, it wasn't that long ago. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, but it's not a walk in the park, you know what I mean, and whatever else. So, your expectations this season, what would the end of the season for you would be a successful season for Jermaine Adams? What would it be? I'd say 25, 30 appearances, around like 10 goals, and I'd like to, to win something with the team as well. Fantastic. Just some silver, I think that'd be nice. Do you know nice. what I mean? Yeah, because obviously seeing us win at Wembley as well a couple months ago, so Lovely. just sitting there in the stadium was a really, and the atmosphere in the change room after was amazing. Good. No, no, that's what you want more. You, you weren't there that day, but you were, you were there, but yeah. you weren't in the squad. Yeah, no, no, but no. you played in some of the wins yeah, yeah, on the yeah, way there, yeah. so that must have been quite good. Yeah, as yeah, well. I still, still felt part of it. Yeah, so of course, yeah, it was a great day for us all. Yeah, you know? yeah. Okay, so let me, let me throw this another way then as well. Um, it's the end of the season. You're called up with the under-21s. Your name's in the paper with loads of big clubs all around the place. Is that going to affect you as a person? Is it going to change you? No, no, no. Are you no, going to be a big time, Charlie? No, no. The people around me would let me. Man. Ferrari into the car park? Nah, no chance. No, 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 no. You're not like that? No. The players, first of all, the players would let me be like that. Correct. Right. And my family would let me be like that. Good. So I've been brought up just to stay humble. Throughout whatever, Grounded. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I think that's the best way anyways. Easy as well. Let that be a lesson to all youngsters out there watching. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? yeah, yeah, have a great season. Yeah, thank you, All right, well, yeah. buddy. Yeah. All right, take it easy.